Minerals must be naturally occurring, inorganic solids with distinct chemical compositions and physical properties, as well as an orderly arrangement of atoms within a crystalline lattice. Many thousands of minerals exist, but only several dozen are especially common. These include minerals such as quartz, graphite, potassium feldspar, and fluorite. We use minerals every day and are dependent upon them for maintaining human health and society. Examples include the mineral apatite, without which much of the world's food supply would diminish, halite, which our cells need to maintain osmotic pressure, and hematite, which we depend upon for much of the world's iron and steel. Earth scientists identify and classify minerals using various tools and techniques. These include examining how a mineral reflects light, a property called luster, examining a mineral in its powdered form, a property called streak, Examining if a mineral can scratch another mineral, a property called hardness that uses Mohs hardness scale. They also work to identify the specific gravity of minerals, which is their relative density compared to water. Earth scientists also note if a mineral exhibits cleavage, which is a tendency to break along weak atomic planes. Classifying minerals into various chemical families is also important, with common categories including the silicates, oxides, and halides. While these identification and classification techniques may seem dry and academic, many people are simply drawn to the beauty of minerals, either in their natural state or as they appear when cut and polished into gems. The minerals identified in this video series are some of the most significant and abundant on Earth. Some are quite beautiful, while others have more practical and economic value. Whatever the case, each video first examines a mineral's physical properties, then identifies how that mineral is significant in our daily lives.